Okay, in this part of the tutorial, we're gonna focus on the hair. So we've got our layers right now, but what we need to do, so we can't visualize what the original draft looked like. So what we need to do is we're gonna close all these layers. We're gonna leave the outline for this one for now. And what we need to do is create different layers for the hair. We'll start, uh, we'll start uh, painting the first layer of the hair by creating a new layer. And we'll name it hair number one. That means the first layer of the hair. And what we need to do is we're going to use our polygon um, laser tool again and we're just gonna circle the very first layer of the hair actually this one can go a little higher so what we can do is do the quick selection tool and the quick selection tool will go a little bit, a little bit more of what you have selected. So this is what you're gonna be like. And then what we need to do is we're gonna create, but first we're gonna use our eyedrop tool to pick the hair color, which is a very good, a very black tone. Go to our wash tool. We're gonna just draw a simple, simple lines just along these edges. And then with this selected, what we're going to do is we're gonna go to Blur, motion blur. And now it creates a sort of um, sort of like the hair lines. We don't find it strong enough, so what we can actually do is we can go brightness and contrast. This way, we're going to make it really strong. Now we might find it as that one layer is not good enough. Actually, what we need to do is duplicate this layer. So we we'll uh, duplicate the hair, then it gives a little stronger lines. Then what we need to do next is we go to Edit Transform, and we're going to go this tour. As you can see, that's sort of doing something that will work to make it look like hairlines. That's how it works for this kind of um, techniques. We might find it a little strong, too strong. Maybe we can just turn the opacity down. You can just sort of play around, see what's, how intense do you want this layer to be. In this case, I think that's going to be enough. So we're going to turn this like that. And then we're going to see just gonna visualize how it looks when everything turns it back on. That's a pretty good line over here. Yeah. What we need to do next is going to work on these layers. So first what we need to do is we're gonna merge these two layers. So the original hair uh, hairline 
hair color becomes one there. I'm just it's not gonna be called copy anymore. It's gonna be called hair one. And then what we need to do is create another layer called hair two. Then what we need to do is we're gonna go along this edge. Remember that this layer is right on top of these ones. So if, uh, every time when you're going to paint it, you know that it's on top of it. So I'm gonna paint it like that. Deselect, so we can paint. Paint on the tone layer. Just gonna go and choose the color. And then we paint. And then what we need to do is we can see the brightness of these ones. That means there is something more on this layer of the hair that we have to care about. So we're gonna use, so we're gonna once again, but just right on top of hair two, we can recreate called hair three. Now we can, actually I'm gonna just turn off these ones so I can see these lines that I draw it would be more convenient if we can use the regular laser tool instead of the polygon laser tool. And then you can just randomly circle all these areas. After that, you can paint. If we turn this back on again, you notice that it creates a very good shiny reflection effect. Now, some of these parts are not supposed to be there. Actually, we're gonna use our eraser to erase, erase this part. That's pretty much how we do with the hair.